SwiftUI gives us two ways of positioning views. We have absolute positions using a position modifier and relative positions using the offset modifier. And they might seem similar at first, but once you understand how SwiftUI places views inside frames and the underlying differences become much, much clearer. Now a simple SwiftUI view, of course, just something like this, text, hello world, whatever, right? And SwiftUI will offer the full available space to content view, which in turn pass onto the text view. The text view automatically uses only as much space as it needs. So it passes that back up to content view, which is always an exactly the same size as its body property. So it directly fits around the text. As a result, SwiftUI centers the words uh, text hello world, because centering content view's body in the available space, which from a user's perspective means the text is in the center of the screen. Now, if you want to absolutely position a SwiftUI view, you want to use the position modifier. For example, we might say text hello world should be at the position x100, y100. And I'll position it there, there it is, boom, x100, y100. But to really see what's happening here, I want you to add a background color before the position. So I'll say here as a background of dot red. And you'll see now our text has a red background tightly fitting around it. Now try moving the background red after position. And you'll see that. You'll see the whole text uh, area becomes red, the whole safe area, everything's red, the whole screen's red, but the text in the same location. Now to understand what's happening here, you've got to remember that three-step layout process from SwiftUI. Remember again, the parent view process size for its child, then based on the information, the child chooses its own size and the parent must respect that choice and finally the parent positions the child in its coordinate space. So the parent is responsible for positioning the child, not the child. This causes a problem. We've just told our text view, you've got to be at exact position right here. So how can SwiftUI resolve this? And the answer to this is also why our background color made the whole screen red. When we use position like this, we get back a new view that takes up all the available space. So it can then position its child, this text, at the correct location. Now when we use text, position, then background, the position will take up all the available space so it can place its text correctly. And then the background will use that size for itself. On the other hand, when we use text, then background, then position, the background will use the text size for its size. And then position will take that and make all available space and put that in that one location in the top left corner. Now, when discussing the offset modifier earlier, I did say to you, if you offset some text, its original dimensions don't actually change. Its frame doesn't actually change. Even the resulting view is rendered at a different location. With that in mind, let's try running slightly different code here. I'm gonna say, let's uh, run using position. I'm gonna say offset at that and then background red. And now you can see the text appears in one place and the background in another. I'm gonna explain why that is. But first, I want you to think about it yourself. If you understand that, then you really understand how SwiftUI's layout system works. When we use this offset modifier, we're changing the location where a view should be rendered without actually changing its underlying geometry. This means when we apply the background afterwards, it uses the original position of the text, not its offset. If you move the modify order so that background here comes before text like that, then things work more like you might've expected, showing once again, modifier order matters.